Hi, I'm Mark Pierre Sondergaard. I'm a texture artist and I've been working in the film industry for the past five or so years. Recently, I had a chance to spend some quality time with Wacom's new Pro Pen 3D. And I have to say, I was very curious about that. I love my Wacom tablet at work. <laughs> it's a funny thing, as texture artists, we often argue over what is the best software for uh, to, to do our, our craft on. Uh, do you swear by Mari, Substance Painter? Um, there are texture artists that still use Photoshop extensively, or maybe even Nuke. I've met texture artists that did most of their work in Nuke. But do you ever stop to take a moment and just, just look down in front of you on your desk, look at your trusty Wacom tablet, think about how much that enables you to do the creative work that you do? Well, I certainly do, because... Um, with my without the, the artistic brush strokes and the, all those movements that you can do with your stylus and your tablet, I, I don't know what I'd do. I don't think the software would matter all that much if I didn't have that kind of uh, haptic precision control. But as for navigating a 3D scene, I see a lot of artists uh, that use um, Wacom tablets with styluses uh, for their 3D navigation. It's just never been right for me. I've always been very skeptic about that. I feel like I need three carefully separated buttons. Um, and that's what a mouse gives me. And if I don't have that, I make too many fumbling mistakes for it to be worth my while in, you know, in a production. You're always busy. You don't have time for things that doesn't work just right. So obviously, I'm very keen to explore this. So let's have a look at it. So here we have it, um, the new Pro Pen 3D in the beautiful uh, cigar <laughs> tube that uh, Wacom seems to put their their uh, styluses in. And uh, when I my first impression when I when I take it out and I just hold it in my hand is that it feels really light, but at the same time the the top end of the stylus feels a little bit heavy, which which sort of despite despite the stylus feeling so light it feels light so i feel like i'm not holding anything here it doesn't bother me it doesn't it doesn't sort of like encumber my hand but then it's not so light that it just sort of flies out of my hand because of this the, the metal part here at the top end of the stylus that's very ingenious i like that i feel like i could just i can just hold this forever and never really notice that it's there you got your 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 normal pen tip here with uh, a million levels of pressure control i'm sure it is by now and then instead of this sort of the, this uh, lever style button where you got like a seesaw uh, with with two buttons one on each end and that, that's the one i always mess up as i'm trying to figure out which one is a uh, middle mouse button which one is is uh, right mouse button as i'm using it for 3d navigation or rather failing at using it for 3d navigation then we got a special extra button there and they're carefully separated i like that um so let's see what we can do with that so here we are in houdini a simple very simple 3d scene and i'm using my trusty wacom mobile studio pro um so let's see so if i'm interacting with my scene just with the pen and nip here the tip of my stylus that grabs a hold of the scene and allows me to rotate the scene around any axis that i want very neat and then so the new button there if we try that that gives me a powerful dragging function where i can pan uh up and down, left and right, anywhere in, in my scene. You know, typically you would have that on your alt and middle mouse button, and and that's that's usually the one I struggle with when I do when I I do three D navigation or I've attempted three D navigation with a regular stylus. And then the finally finally the the top button here that's sort of like the seesaw that has two ends to it. Uh, pressing that while interacting with the scene, we'll zoom in and out. So there we have it. Very neat, very, very simple. It does the trick. I mean, you you, you just have these three basic functionalities, zoom, um, roll, and, uh, 
and pan and um and they're all neatly encapsulated in in the pen now <laughs> it's gonna take a little while for me to unlearn many years of uh, mouse handling and uh, and put this to practice but i could see this working very well particularly since each of these buttons of course with wacom you know you get the software along with it that allows you to to customize any function to uh, to to the different buttons and you can you can really set it up any which way you like whatever comes mo the more nat natural to you so this will be very powerful if you uh, if you put in a little bit of legwork to sort of unlearn your previous uh, navigation uh, muscle memory i mean you have you have all that in your muscle memory so to speak and uh, and um, and replace that with with this very intuitive uh, and artistic tool so in conclusion, I've always been very skeptic about using a stylus on a tablet for 3D navigation. But it's not that I didn't want to. It's not that I don't want to because as an artist, as a traditional artist, I'm all for anything that feels like a traditional art tool, anything that invokes that feeling of my, um, my paintbrushes on the canvas at home with the paint. Um, I'm all for that. That sort of like that brings up some creative juices that I I love to have in my day to day work as a texture artist, and with the Wacom Pro Pen 3D, I think finally we have something here that could win over a skeptic like me, uh, where you have the the buttons that are necessary for 3D navigation and you still maintain that lovely artistic tool that the stylus is originally. So I think. I'm sold. I'm going to I'm going to change my ways.